Hi, my name is Stacy. I am a certified fitness instructor and I love bringing workouts to you that you can do from home, whatever the reason. Maybe a gym membership is out of the question or it's just more accessible to eliminate that commute. Whatever it is, I got you. So today it is a leg day workout from the mat. Um, you can do this with no equipment or there's a couple of options. So you will amp up the intensity a little if you have a loop band, a mini band. I'm gonna use medium resistance. I like the kind with fabric inside. Um, I mean fabric with grip inside so it will stay put. But you can do it without. And then some dumbbells, <clears throat> excuse me. I have a pair of 12s and then an eight pound dumbbell. Um, I would say like heavy-ish and then one like medium. Um, and those are optional as well. We have eight moves, eight reps, three rounds. So. Let's get started right here on our knees. Now here's where the weight is optional. You are going to grab one weight if you have it. Just hold it right here, push your hips back and hinge, and then rise. And you want to squeeze glutes and hamstrings on that rise. Just eight, ready, let's go. Down and up. Squeeze on that rise. Quads are working as well. Four more. It's gonna feel short, but we have all leg focused moves here. Last one. All right, grabbing a second dumbbell if you want. We have a lean back. Now, weights right here for that extra weight if you want. You lean back, challenge those quads, and come up as an option. If you need to stand instead of on your knees, you can come to a Romanian deadlift where you just hinge. All right, are we ready? Let's go. We're here for eight. Coming back as far as you can, finding that control. You do not want more than eight of these. This hits the quads very quickly. All right, three more. Two. Last one. And let's go set those weights down. We're gonna grab that mini band. If you have it, it's gonna go around our mid thighs. If not, just really engage those muscles, squeeze. You can get a good workout. Starting off on our hands and knees in quadruped. So weight evenly distributed between the palms, right under shoulder. Pick one side, extend that leg back, flex the foot, lift, hover just above the mat, and we're gonna press out and then bring it back in line. All control, core is nice and tight. Ready, let's go. Remember, we're just here for eight. Four more. Three. Two, one, and we're switching sides, switch out legs. I'm gonna face you, hands down. Actually, I don't know if I can, <laughs> I don't have enough room. Ready, flex that foot, hover just above the mat, and let's go, press out and in. You wanna engage that core for stability. Try not to swing or move anything else. There's number four, give me four more. Two more. You can always ditch that band or grab a heavier band if you want to change intensity. Last one. All right, we're coming to a seated position, leaving that band right there. We're coming to a seated position and then down to your forearm, making a pretzel shape. So legs staggered. So this back leg staying, keeping that knee behind the foot, we're going to lift and lower. Ooh, you feel it right away. Ready, let's go with control. You got it. Check in, keep that knee behind that foot. Last four. This is round one. Round two, round three, those are gonna get spicier. Last one. And switch to that other side. Staggering that 
Changing that stagger, knee behind the foot, just resting on your forearm. Let's go, lift, lower with control, good. Like I said, you can always change out that band also. Pick a heavier resistance if you don't feel challenged enough. Four more. Three. Two. One. We're gonna stay on this side, extend that leg. We bounce. Up, tiny bounces. Front, and then same thing back. You ready? Let's go. Bringing it forward. That's one. Coming back, you can point your toe on this one. That's two. Ooh, all right, are you starting to feel it? You feel the workout with me now? That's three. Keep it going, tiny bounce and control. That's six. Number seven right here. Last one. All right, switching sides. Straight leg. Extend, you can point that toe, and small lifts. Bounce, bring it forward. And back. Woo! This is number three. And halfway there. Give me four more, keeping that bounce small. Squeeze, point that toe and keep the entire leg engaged. Last two here. Last one. Whew, if you're using that band, you can slide it down to your feet. We're all gonna come to our back and come into some bicycle kicks. So you can be right here, lower, higher, wherever you are. If you've got medium resistance band, you may not pull that much. So pedal, pedal, that's one. Ready? Let's go. Pedal, pedal. Slow and controlled. Don't let that band snap you in. You're in control. Halfway there. Give me four more. Find that full extension. Three. Two. One. Band goes around the, just between calves and ankles. I'm gonna turn so you can see. If you don't have a band, squeeze your legs and engage as much as you can. Turn those toes out. Band about right here, and we are gonna quick press. Now, these are small. We don't have eight. We're gonna time it. Give me 30 seconds. Keep pressing, quick press. Squeeze, inner thighs, uh, hamstrings, outer thighs. 12 seconds left. Keep pressing, quick and controlled. Three, two, one, whoo. Lose that band. We have our last move, and that will complete round one. Um, I'm gonna start with 12 pounds. We got a hamstring curl lying on our stomachs. Adjust weight as needed. I'm gonna see how this feels. I might decide to drop it a little bit. So, this is the tricky part. You want to grab that weight with your feet and just gently rest right here. So I've got it, I've got a good grip, it's not going anywhere. Get that grip, when you're ready, just eight curls. Let's go. So come up and down. Yes, definitely, you can go heavier here. All right, challenge yourself. Your legs are strong. You might could go even heavier than what I chose to start with. Um, just feel it out. You're not married to the first decision you make. You can change your mind, adjust the props, go lighter, heavier, anytime. Three, two, one. Now hold just above the floor, hold just above the floor, pulse it out for eight, it's not very many. Four, three, two, 
one, drop the weight. That's round one, so fast, right? Hopefully that it's gonna get a little bit more intense every time as those muscles get fatigued. Let's jump right into the next move. Grabbing two weights, no, one weight. We've got that hinge, so hold it right here. Send the booty and hips back and lift and squeeze. Let's go, give me eight. Squeeze, get the most out of this that you can. Four more. Three. Two. One. Grab that other weight right into the lean back. This might be the hardest one of the day. Let's go. Down and up. Quad fire right away. Doesn't have to be far. Whatever works for you today. That's halfway. Four more to go. Three. Come on, just two more. One. Grab that band. All right. I'm making a decision. I think we've got 10 reps in us instead of eight. From now on, let's aim for 10 if that feels good to you. If not, you can stick with eight. We've got those leg abductors. So quadruped, palms under shoulders, extend and flex. Let's go. Press and bring it in with control. Yeah, we've got this. All control. Halfway there. Give me five more. You have my permission to adjust as needed. Do what works for you today. Last one. Switch sides right into it. No time wasted. Flex that foot. Let's go. 10. Right here with control. Core is engaged. Upper body staying nice and still. There's five. We're halfway there. Yeah, we got this. Two more. One. Give me that pretzel. Come on down. Stagger down to your forearm. Adjust the leggings if needed. Ready? Here's that lift. We've got 10. You notice how I started on the opposite side this time? That's because we want to switch which leg is getting two workouts in a row. Right after this pretzel, we're going into that bounce hover. Three, two, one. Whoo, switch sides. If you're following this along with me today without the bands and you're in the market for bands, um, ask me in the comments and I can share a link Ready, let's go into that lift, lift. Bands are a great investment for home workouts because they're so versatile. They're really affordable and you can do so much with them. Upper body, lower body, core, they're an incredible tool. And I can get you 20% off, so let me know if you're interested in that. Four, three, two, one and extend right into that bounce hover. Let's go. Now we are gonna we're gonna feel the extra two reps here since I bumped it up from eight to ten. Ha! Ah. Let my improvisation be a lesson to you. You can always improvise when you're working out. Nobody knows your body better than you. You can feel if something is too much or if it's not challenging you quite enough and adjust it. Keep that bounce going. Pretty sure I'm on count. If I'm correct, that's number six. Give me four more. Three. Two. Last one, are you feeling it? 
outer thighs, top of those glutes. Ooh. Oh, that was it. That's it. Switch sides. All right. Ready? Point that toe. Little bounce hover. Let's go. Keep it small and controlled. To keep it quick, you really have to squeeze and stay engaged. If your bounce starts to get uncoordinated, that's okay. <laughs> Mine is there, starting to look a little wonky. That's okay, I still feel the burn. I'm getting the workout. All right, that's number six. Give me four more. Let this music pump us up. I think I have it pretty soft today. Hopefully you can hear it. I get a lot of complaints about my music being too loud, so I'm trying to adjust. I just really like loud music. Pumps me up. All right, that is the last one. Whoo! Feeling it a little more. Time for bicycles. If you've got that band, bring it to your feet. Adjust the leggings. All right. These leggings are rolling on me a lot today. I apologize. Should have made a different choice. Ready? Bicycle. Let's go. Full extension. Switch. Take your time, reach, pull that band as far apart as you can. It might not be that far, as long as you're pulling it as far as you can. Now remember, right and left equals one for this move. Four. Three. Two. Last one, and move that band if you have it to that spot just between ankles and calves. Toes are out and ready, press. Quick and controlled press, 30 seconds. Now, here's your chance to really squeeze and engage inner thighs. Ow! Let me see where we're at. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. All right, hamstring curl. Weight or no weight, adjust. Was that too easy for you last time? Get a heavier weight. Did it feel a little out of control? Grab a lighter weight. Self-explanatory, really? All right, sometimes words just come out. All right, grab it. Feel like it's secure. Lower down. You can just gently rest here. We're going for 10. Ready? Let's go. So we have increased the reps. That means for this move, we have 10 full range and then 10 of that lovely pulse. That pulse just gives us a little bit extra time under tension. Try to really burn out that muscle. Halfway there for full range. If you feel that weight slipping away from you, stop and adjust. All right, three to go. Two. One, hover just above the mat and pulse it out. Pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom, baby, one round to go. We are so close. Should we increase the reps again? I don't think so. I think 10 is the sweet spot. Grab water if you need to. I forgot to bring water over here, but that's okay. I hydrated right before. All right, kneeling, hinge. Are you ready? Grab that weight, send the hips back. Let's go, down and up, slow. Take your time on this. Get as low as you can, all the way down, all the way up. Ooh, squeeze that booty and those hamstrings on the rise. Five to go. Three, two, one. Grab that extra weight. All right, 10, do we have 10 of this? I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Let's go, take it back and up. 
quad and hamstring burner. You can stay with me. You can go less reps if that's what works for you today. The beauty is that this is your workout. You can adjust as needed. I just want you to know that you are capable of a lot. Don't let your mind give up before your body does. Because if your mind gives up, it's gonna tell your body we can't do this. And sometimes you can. You gotta tell yourself, I can do this. And you just pull it out. Last two, I think. <laughs> One. Oh, done with those forever today. Grabbing those bands again if you've got them. Leg abductors, band around mid-thigh. All right, starting with the opposite side this time. If you remember, if you don't, that's okay. It doesn't matter. We'll work them both. Ready, extend, flex, side press. Let's go. Are you coming as far to the side as you can? We're getting some hip mobility here as well, which is always a good thing. Gotta take care of those joints. You wanna move well and feel well as you get older. Pay attention to moving your joints in all directions as much as you can. Three, two, one. Switch it out. Let's go. Flex that foot and press. Core nice and tight for stability. Upper body nice and still. Ow! Here's number five, halfway there. Three, two, one. All right, bring it down. Pretzel, stagger, knee behind toe. And ready? Lift, lower, lift. Oh, are you coming all the way down? You should feel that in the booty. Get low. Five. Four. Three. Burn so good. Two. One. Switch it out. If you're still not feeling challenged, you might need a heavier resistance band, or you might need a few more reps, or maybe you need less. Adjust as needed. Let's go. If you have a little bit of pain right here on the lift, you might have tight or weak hip flexors. So just keep that range of motion in a safe spot for you. You don't want pain, but you do want to strengthen those hip flexors. Five to go. Control. Three, two, one. Right into that bounce. Point your toe, let's go. Bounce, bounce it up. Coordination at full dysfunction right now. <laughs> Trying to bounce while your legs are shaky, muscles are fatigued. You get inner and outer thigh here. You also get booty. It's a lot you can do to strengthen your legs without even standing up. You got to do your entire workout today, not even standing. How does that feel? <laughs> oh my. I'll admit, I couldn't remember if that was six or eight, so. Last two. And one. Whew, switch it out. Point that toe, give me that bounce. Bring it up. Remember, it's not big. Just a couple of inches. Keep that toe pointed. You want every muscle in your leg engaged. Trying to make that leg as long as possible, like you're trying to paint the opposite end of the room with your toe. I'm counting. This is five. And six. So we have four more. That's the kind of math I like. My oldest son is in geometry. I've got another son in algebra. It's not fun. It is not fun math. Whew. 
Last one. All right. We are coming to our bicycle. All right. If you've got a band on your feet, right into it, slow and controlled. Right and left equals one. Remember that, sorry. Waistband rolling up. Let's go. Extend and slow switch, reaching that full extension. Here's number three. You want to keep breathing. Don't hold your breath when it gets tough. Deep inhales and exhales. Three, two, one. We are so close to completing this workout. Slide that band if you've got it up. If not, really squeeze your legs, engage inner thighs. Toes are out. Gentle press, press. 30 seconds. Keep it quick and controlled. You are squeezing. Don't let it go. 19 seconds to go. Come on. One more move after this. That is it. Eight. Three. Two, one. All right, hamstring curl to finish. That is it. Get that weight set up for yourself. Grab it with your feet. Come forward. Are you ready? Let's go, give me 10. All the way up, all the way down. Now, as we're finishing this last move, I just wanna remind you Stretching is key to muscle recovery. You're gonna stretch while you're nice and warm, send oxygen back to all the muscles you just worked. You're gonna feel better, recover faster, improve your range of motion. So go find one of my stretch videos after this, or if you know what to do, stretch it out yourself. Three, two, one, give me that, that pulse to finish. Hover just above the mat and pulse it out. This is it. Oh, we are so close. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop that weight. Way to go. All right, just shy of 30 minutes. You can pack a lot in in a short amount of time. You do not need to kill yourself for one hour workouts every day. If you can get 15 to 30 minutes or more, three or four days a week. That's awesome, and that's really great. Thanks for working out with me. Tell your friends about me. If you like my workouts, I would love for you to share my channel. Leave comments for support, and have a great day.